Hello, it's Mitchell Prentice here, and today I wanted to talk about calculating repayments on flat rate loans. Okay, so in our previous session, hopefully we've worked out how to work out um, simple interest and how to work out, say, the final balance after adding simple interest. And today we're just going to add a little bit more to this and talk about how we're going to, say, divide this final balance into different repayments. I also want to introduce, um, say, deposits as well and work out um, exactly what um, where things go. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So I just want to just put the note for this. Calculating repayments on flat rate loans, we divide the final balance Okay, of an account that we need to need to pay, okay, or into the number of monthly repayments. So this is what we're going to look at today. Now let's go do an example, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, and I'll and I'll explain it through it. So, e.g., just say you borrow. You borrow maybe $12,000, okay, you're borrowing $12,000 and you're borrowing that at, say, 6.5% per annum for three years, okay? And the question is, what are the monthly repayments? Now. Sorry, that's a bit messy. What are the monthly repayments to this? So last time I had you, we talked about how to calculate the interest on a flat rate loan. Now we're going to talk about monthly repayments. Okay, so to do this, we're going to calculate the interest that the bank is going to charge you. So please make sure you always write your formula so the interest is the principal, $12,000, times the rate, which is our 6.5%, times N, the number of term, or, or the number of periods that we have. In this case, it's three years. Okay, so it's $12,000 times 6.5%, and we are timesing that by three years. Okay, so that's our first step. So I just use my calculator, 12,000 times 6.5%, so 6.5 over 100, and then times that by 3. Okay, so the interest is $2,340. Okay, that is what the bank charges us. Okay, now, therefore, the balance that we need to pay back which is A, which I talked about, it's the principal plus the interest. Okay, so we borrowed $12,000. We borrowed $12,000. And then plus, we have to pay back an extra $2,340 um, back to the bank for that they charge us for borrowing it. So that's $14,340. Okay, so that's what our month that's what our total that we need to pay back is, and therefore the monthly repayments, the monthly repayments are, well, we just need to pay this back, and we need to pay this back over three years. Now, three years is 12 months in every year, so there's 36 months in three years. So I'm just going to divide um, $14,340, I'm going to divide that by 36 months. Okay, so I get my previous answer. So it was 14340 and I divide that by 36 months. Okay, so my monthly repayments are $398.33. Okay, so if this is what the... Um, every single month we're going to pay, and if we pay that for 36 months, for the three years, we'll end up with um, 
the total $14,340. Um, EG2, just say you buy you buy a $20,000 car with a 15% deposit. Okay, you buy a $20,000 car with a 15% deposit. Okay, if the bank charges, or obviously the financial institution charges, if the bank charges, um, say, 7.8% per annum for the, say, five-year loan, What are the monthly repayments? Now, this has an extra step, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm looking down a lot. But this one has an extra step because we've got a 15% deposit as well. So what we're going to do is just recognize that at the start, at the very start of this, I'm going to work out 15% and then I'm going to divide. So here's my 15% of $20,000. Sorry, my son just tried to disrupt. Okay, so we paid a $3,000 deposit and therefore if our deposit was 15% of 20000 which is 3,000, we can work out our principal, which is obviously 20,000 minus 3,000, which is $17,000. Okay, so this had an extra step at the start. Our car was 20 grand. We paid $3,000 as a initial deposit, so we borrow 17,000. So that's what this first part is saying. We're borrowing 17,000 for that car. And now we can go through and say, therefore, the interest is the principal times R times N. So 17,000 times um, rate, what was that? 7.8% times five. Okay, notice the bank is not charging us um, interest on the whole 20 grand because we're not borrowing that off them. We're only borrowing 17,000. Okay, so 17,000 times, um, I'll put a 7.8 over 100 instead of 0 0.078, and then I'm going to times that by 5. Okay, so this is the interest. Now, if you wanted to, instead of doing the total, like working out what A is, how much we're going to pay back, I'm just going to skip a step and I'm going to say the monthly repayments are, uh, well, how much do we have to pay back? We have to pay back 17000 plus 6630 dollars. That's how much we have to pay back. 17000 plus 6630 so we're paying back 23000 $630 and we're paying that back over five years so I could just type in this five times 12 okay which is 60 months okay so notice I've just put two steps together you don't have to you could have worked out a here and you could have worked out um, how many months there are there but the idea is that we just want to recognize that we're paying back $23,630 and we're paying that back over five years at 12 months a year, so at 60 months. Okay, so this is our answer. Look at that, 393, that's very similar to our previous one. $393.83. Okay, that's our monthly repayment for the car. Um, so notice, 
what we would get if we work this out there might be a tiny bit of a rounding error but we would see for borrowing this the total paid for the car instead of just our initial twenty thousand dollars cash we didn't pay the set at just twenty thousand dollar cash we've paid uh, a three thousand dollar deposit plus 60 repayments and each of those repayments are $393.83 okay so we can see um, what we've got there um, it's $3,000 it was our initial deposit and then we plus 60 times now to save the running error I'm just going to press answer here because I want to show you what this actually becomes 26,630 now the reason why I've just showed you this is because if we've worked this out if we have a look at this 26,630 the idea is we've paid for the car $20,000 okay that is the $3,000 deposit plus we've paid back the principal um, and we've also added on that the interest okay so the total that you paid even though you paid it as a deposit and monthly repayments but the total that you paid the only difference is you've paid six thousand six hundred and thirty dollars interest on top of what you would normally pay for the car okay that's what the where they're getting the money um, notice that they also banks also add like monthly fees and whatnot for a car loan but they are our monthly repayments I'm just doing one more example uh, now and just say and just see if we can work this out using our other three formulas for interest okay I'll show you what I mean so just say instead of paying say $15,000 for a car you you pay say a five thousand dollar deposit I spelled deposit wrong okay you pay a five thousand dollar deposit and let me just um, make this up so just say I go that's okay and you pay uh, six hundred dollar. Let's just say five hundred and sixty dollar monthly repayments for two years. Monthly repayments for two years. Okay. For this, we can see what interest the bank charged okay what interest what flat rate of interest did the bank charge now this is important because when we go to buy a car they might ask us this and we can see if they're really ripping us off or not because obviously you can get a loan from a bank for quite cheap but maybe they're going to give you a really expensive loan and we just want to check to see what actually what rate they're actually charging us so we can compare okay so let's have a let's have a go and see so firstly how much was the principal that you borrowed well in this case here the car was fifteen thousand dollars and you paid a five thousand dollar deposit okay so the principal is our fifteen thousand dollar car take away our deposit so your principal was that you borrowed ten thousand so hopefully that's pretty easy to see okay so you borrowed ten thousand dollars okay what was the total paid for the loan okay so the total paid for the loan is five hundred and sixty dollars 
monthly repayments for two years. Okay, so the total paid was five hundred and sixty dollars for twenty six um, twelve twenty four months. Okay, so the total for the pay that for the loan was five hundred and sixty dollars times twenty four months. Okay, so that's thirteen thousand three hundred no thirteen thousand four hundred and forty dollars. Now hopefully we can see what this is. The total paid for the loan is your A, isn't it? That's that's your A. That's your total paid. Okay? We want to work out I, therefore the interest let me just move that across a bit. Therefore the interest is how much the bank charged us. So we borrowed 10,000 and we paid 13,440. So the difference is 3,440 dollars, isn't it? $3,440. That is our interest that we paid. So when we borrowed this, we've paid that and therefore, we can work out the rate. Now, we flick back to our previous session and we can see our loan. Remember, the in the previous session we said uh, I equals PRN. And to work out R, we say that's the I over PN. Okay, this was the formula that we used to work out the rate. Okay, R is equal to I over PN. So therefore, our rate that they charged was equal to our three thousand four hundred and forty dollars of interest, and we paid that over um, principal is ten thousand dollars, and N so ten thousand dollars was our principal, and N is two years. We pay back the loan over two years. Okay, so we get $3,440 over 10,000 times two. Okay, so that is 0 0.172, which is equivalent to, hopefully we recognize, that's not 0 0.172% that's just the decimal, that's what we always have in our calculators, so we know that's equivalent to 17.2%. Okay, so for this question, the bank has charged 17.2% interest for borrowing, for buying that car on, um, on their terms. So we would be better off finding another bank that charges a much lower interest rate than 17.2%, so that our repayments would be less okay they are ripping us off for that question okay i hope that hope that is helpful um for this